What's up, witches and warlocks? Puma Fist here. I was gonna do an update on Hurricane Ian because uh, uh, wind was really kicking up nasty here just a couple of minutes ago, but now all of a sudden it's like uh, as soon it's like one of those things when you go to film your pet when they're doing something cute, you know, your dog or your cat's doing something, and you're like, oh, that's so adorable. Let me grab my camera and take a photo. As soon as you pick up the fucking camera, the motherfuckers move, right? Uh, same thing that's going on right here. Uh, all of a sudden, we've got this dead spot where there's absolutely nothing going on with the weather. But aside from that, well, it has been 100% officially confirmed that Eric July did, in fact, <laughs> put an ad for his wife's fucking uh, jewelry business in ISOM number one. So, Jesus Christ, holy shit, Mr. Cuck, Mr. Eric July Cuck. Uh, wow. That's all I gotta say. Uh, this is, this is absolutely fucking amazing. And if it doesn't prove to you guys now that he doesn't give a shit about the actual product, uh, the comic book, uh, he's selling merch, he's selling the trading cards, he's selling t-shirts, he's selling hats, he's selling shoes, he's selling his wife's jewelry, has nothing to do with the comic book, and you fucking idiots are just eating it up. Jesus Christ, you're being grifted, dummies. You're being fucking grifted. Yeah, the book's gonna come out. But it's not gonna be good. And it's full of ads trying to sell you other shit. Wake up, people. Wake the fuck up. Oh, my God. And uh, you know what? I, I can't believe these other fucking uh, YouTubers, uh, these comic skate guys that are back in this shit. Well, actually, I can. I mean, they're all a bunch of grifters. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, this, this shit is the, the snitchiest of snitchy shit I've ever fucking seen. Who the hell decides it's a good idea to put a jewelry ad in a fucking superhero comic book? Like, aren't the majority of people that read superhero comic books like fucking white men, you know? <laughs> Most of them now are aged out. They're like my age. You know, they're getting into their 40s. Uh, yeah. How many, how many of them are buying like uh, fucking earrings and shit like that? Like gaudy, gaudy fucking earrings. I don't know, people. I don't know... Well, all I can say is, man, I hope your money is well spent. And I, I really hope you enjoy ISOM number one. Uh, because uh, you spent a lot of money on it. <laughs> and uh, it's yours now. And uh, I hope it's worth it. All right. Puma fist out.